This is a bovie, blue button coag, yellow button cut. May come with a cover on it, has a bovie tip on it. Bovie tip comes off. If you're doing big open counts, you're gonna to wanna to count these bovie tips. They just pop back in there and they pop right off. The tips come in Teflon and non-Teflon. If they're Teflon, think about like your cooking pans are Teflon, stuff that'll stick to them. If it's non-Teflon, you're gonna need a bovie scratch pad. And that basically will take the charred tissue that's on here and scratch it off. You're gonna stick it to your drape. That'll help scratch it off. You can also take a wet ray tape, scratch it off that way. You have different tips. This is the one that came on it. This. This is a smaller bovie extension. It makes it a little bit longer if you're working down in a small little hole. If you're working in an open abdomen, you may need a big long bovie tip. Pops in the same way, long. That way you can get way down in the, back, in the bottom and get back and bovie stuff it. Once you make your big laparotomy incision, if you're doing open case, start thinking about whether or not they're gonna need this bovie tip. They also come in needle point. The end of this bovie will be like a needle and it will poke you, so make sure you're careful with where that goes. So they can have, they can be short and they can be longer too. Watch out for the edge of them, they're very sharp. How many of these bovie tips you have, count them all on an open case. You don't want to have this bovey tip in, need to change it, change it, and drop that one down in there on accident, not know where it is. You need to keep track of all of them.